Hello there. Is your house out of control and you don't know where to start? I hear you. So join me this month and let's do this decluttering cleaning challenge together. Hi everyone and welcome. Welcome to Bum B. Thank you so much, Sophia, for my great challenge uh, for opening this invite of the Fly Lady Cleaning Decluttering Month. Actually joining this challenge, guys, because um, my house is out of control. And um, actually when you walk in here and you see my house, it doesn't look bad. It's presentable, but it's not presentable for me. I've got closets I need to organize. There's a lot of stuff I need to declutter. Um, I'm a collector, let's face it. I collect a lot of vintage different items uh, that I love and I enjoy. And you know, if you watch Sophia and you follow her, it's so true. You need to surround uh, your home in things that you enjoy and things that you love. And believe me, if I don't have my house decorated or I don't have things that I absolutely love, I don't clean. So having my house uh, decorated where I love and enjoy the things, I'm more careful to keep up with cleaning them and caring for them because they're my collectors, they're my babies, and I'm just in love with them. So I don't know if that makes sense to you. Um, but I've noticed that that's how I... Um, I am. So if my house is not decorated the way I want to, I don't actually spend time, you know, cleaning it, and loving it, and all that. More information about the Fly Lady. I'm actually very new to the Fly Lady. I learned through the Fly Lady through Sophia, because I've been a subscriber of Sophia for a very long time, when I didn't even think I'd ever be a YouTuber. And um, I became a YouTuber just uh, a year ago uh, due to depression and uh, being so upset with um, my husband uh, dying suddenly. So that brought me to where I could sit here, feel sorry for myself and cry or do something else in life that would bring me to chit chat with people, have friends and keep me busy. And actually, YouTube has helped me a lot uh, in feeling so much better. Okay, so now back to the decluttering and cleaning. So, I'm going to post in the description box below Sophia's channel so you can go check her out. I'm also going to have some information regarding the Fly Lady system. I know the Fly Lady system, you always need to make sure your sink is shined, which means always a clean kitchen, no dishes in the sink, so it needs to be nice and polished. And you also have to switch and swipe your restrooms, which clean your toilet, your sink, and your mirror, and make sure all those are shined on a daily basis. But I want to really concentrate on decluttering, uh, making sure that I use the most that I can space in my house to store my home decor, because I change my decor a lot, but there's a lot of pieces that I love that I wouldn't want to get rid of, but I kind of switch off my decor very often. So, I want to finish my butler's closet. So I have a lot of things on my list that hopefully this month I can get them all done and get my house organized, decluttered free, keep those items that I really like and where I can really um, use my time better because I've noticed that a lot of times when I'm decorating my DIYs, I spend uh, a lot of time looking for things that I don't remember where I placed them. So I'm actually going to concentrate a lot on that and deep cleaning this month. So I hope you can join us. Uh, Sophia and I and I believe other creators will be joining in as well. The playlist is linked below. I'm going to start with doing the dinner dishes. Uh, this is February the 1st. So this is the first day of the month of Fly Lady 
uh, cleaning and declutter series. Okay. Do the dishes and then we're going to go to zone one, which is the living room, and we're going to remove all my row plants and we're going to bring them to the sink and we're going to water them. Okay, so let's get started. Sorry guys, it's kind of dark, um, don't have much lighting here in the living room, and it's a very cloudy, rainy day, um, so yeah. So what I'm going to do is, um, this is what the living room is looking like. So we've got toys from the dogs that I'm going to pick up. I have this basket here that I just, when I change my decor, I just throw in that basket, so I want to empty that out and not do that anymore. I have here a thrift find that I just did a video. I just left it there on the floor and there's some trash. So, yeah, I don't know. I guess somebody had popcorn. So, yeah, I'm going to vacuum here, uh, organize, declutter. I want to vacuum the furniture and um, put this decor away. I have an idea of how I can store my stuff better. So, we're going to start with um, removing the plants to the sink and watering those, and I do that once a week. Guys, I hope you don't mind the salsa music. Uh, this is like true life. I personally do everything in life with blasting salsa music in the background. Um, I clean, I do DIYs, I decorate, cook, I do everything with the salsa on, okay? So most of you are probably thinking, oh my God, she's got so many plants. That's so much work. It's not work for me, guys. I enjoy my real plants. I enjoy getting them little babies because I try to get them as baby as possible. I enjoy seeing them grow. I probably enjoy the plants because I am an empty nester. And also, I don't have my husband anymore. So, I just, I don't know. I enjoy uh, my plants. Okay, so let's get these plants watered. is I spray them at the same time that I'm watering the part where the pot is here the roots of the plant but I'm also spraying the leaves because you want your plant to always be dust free because they breathe from the leaves and it's very um, easy to care for plants guys plants are just like children they need to be on a schedule if you get them baby you can have them adjust to your schedule I water my plants once a week, always, and they stay pretty and they stay healthy. In the summer sometimes, if the sun hits uh, in the living room um, really hard and it's been really hot, then I actually water them twice a week. Okay?
Okay, guys, so I'm going to start with decluttering and taking out of this room what I don't want it to be here anymore. And I'm going to take out what I don't want and it doesn't belong in this room. I'm going to dust, then I'm going to vacuum, and then I'm going to mop. Okay, so I'm going to give myself, we're supposed to use 15 minutes of decluttering, 15 minutes of cleaning. I think I'm going to probably declutter, it's going to be two or three minutes, so it's going to give me about another, you know, 45 minutes to dust, um, sweep, and uh, mop. I also wanted to show you that that piece that I ordered, that cabinet for my milk glass collection, I put it together, but I want to show you a little clip how I had it in the hallway, and then I changed it over here to the living room combination a dining room which this would be my zone one for me and I'll be working two days on zone one but I'll keep up with uh, shine sink and switching and swiping the restroom okay so remember I have a tiny house I live in a really really uh, small space so see why I don't like this yeah I have a rustic cabinet next to a nicer cabinet the one that we built um, and I'm just not liking it here in the hallway. I'm going to have to find something else for the hallway. Get rid of the rustic one. And I think I want to move this one maybe to the dining room area where I used to have the apple wall. Let me show you what I mean. I thought it would look really good in this wall if I got rid of those two items. This wall is 34 inches wide. And the cabinet is only 23 inches wide. So I think it's going to fit perfectly there. And then I can have all my milk glass um, in that cabinet. And then the items that don't fit, I can move it into my uh, china cabinet over there. So maybe the red cabinet, I'll move over there where the Coca-Cola stuff is. I'm not sure yet. Um, once I get it together, I'll give you a guys a clip so you can see. So not bad guys, look. I think this cabinet looks so much better here in the dining room wall. So basically the same things that I had on top of the other two little uh, tables that I had there. I just moved to the top, added my milk glass collection. But some of the pieces that were too uh, wide or too high then I just went ahead and placed them here inside uh, the china cabinet and I think that worked that worked so yeah happy with that so I'm gonna go ahead and take these and put them away and then I'm going to take out everything that I have here I'm gonna do that right now some decor that I've been switching out. See, I have an idea where to store all this. And this is my decor that I interchange. Or stuff that I still haven't put up. Because, you know, I'm always decorating. That's me. That is totally uh, my personality. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and remove this bag. So I'm only going to leave my pee, pee pads here in this basket. That's what this basket is for. Because when it's raining, um, I lay on a metal tray pee, pee pads for the dogs. So they can go potty if they need to. No, what a shame I'm gonna get rid of this I bought this at the 99 cent store and I paid $7.99 and it came with essential oil and I plugged this in 
and maybe two or three hours after I plugged this in, I started to get really, really sick. So, yeah, I started to get headaches, um, like if I had a severe cold and I felt weak. So, I am not turning this back on. And then I did some research and I've heard that animals have gotten sick. And, um, yeah, I actually thought I was safe. I had no idea. So this goes bye-bye. I'm going to donate this. Hey guys, oh, I got cold. I had to put a jacket on. Um, I'm not going to sweep and mop. You know, I'm not going to vacuum and mop. It just doesn't make sense because as I decluttered um, the stuff that I had here, I made a big old mess in the hallway. So I really need to get um, this old a chest that I have. I want to remove all the bedding stuff that I have in there. And put my home decor in there, the one that I change out all the time. That, that way it'll be accessible for me to just open the big chest and see exactly what I have and what I want to decorate with. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put all my plants back in position. Um, I already dusted in here and I picked up. And then I'm going to go to the hallway and I'm going to empty out that hope chest that I have. And we're going to put all the decor uh, there. That's going to help me so much because everything's going to be in that one place that I can just open and look to see what I want to, you know, play with, with home decor. Okay, so let's get started on putting all the plants back where they belong. So see what I mean? I just came over here and dumped all the stuff that I do want to keep, 
but I don't have room in the living room because I'm using right now Valentine's decor. So I want to empty what's inside that chest and I want to organize home decor in here. I have these basket chests here and I'm going to use one to use all of my tablecloths, uh, cloth napkin and everything that has to do with dining room, you know, placemats and all of that. Okay everyone, thank you so much for joining me today. Don't forget to check out uh, Sophia from My Great Challenge and the playlist to see who is going to join us in this whole month of Fly Lady decluttering and cleaning videos. Sorry about that guys, the dog's in the barking. It's just it's really windy and raining outside and I think I have some kind of decor outside that makes some kind of noise. I'm gonna go check it now and it sounds like they're knocking so the dogs have been barking. Okay, anyways, what was I saying? I'm gonna make this video like super long. Tomorrow we will resume me putting the home decor inside the hope chest. I think I'm excited about that. That's gonna help me a lot. And then the basket, I'm gonna put all my tablecloths, all my table runners, and then all my napkins and stuff like that. And that'll also, will help this butler's uh, pantry also be more emptied out for me to put more dishes and stuff that I have that I need to secure in that closet. So that's my goal. My goal is to get it all done this month because wait till we get to the garage. You'll see. Anyways, thank you so much and we'll see you tomorrow with day two of the Fly Lady cleaning and decluttering uh, month. Thanks. Bye-bye.